Definitely want to start adding some trash cans, benches, education boards, etc. As well as if we have any things we can give these guys enrichment-wise. So, let's go over here to Species Arctic Wolf. Or is that at? There it is right there. And, uh, we do, so that's good. Sprinkler, what in the world? Why don't I give them a sprinkler? <laughs> uh, we can give them basic shelter and stuff. But, uh, if we could have up to eight of these guys, might, might want to get a decently sized area here. Like, I don't know, maybe something like this would be fine, you guys. That'd be good. Put it on, like, this corner, I suppose. And it, it, it'll have, like, snow at the top of the, uh, the thing, so that'd be really cool. Put it on that corner. Put a bunch of beddings inside there, so... Maybe not extra large, maybe mediums, a bunch of mediums. That seems like that fits their size perfectly, so... Let's, uh, rotate so we have a nice little variation. It doesn't look like we just copy pasted these, even though we did. <laughs> so there you go. Place all these down. So we could have, like, what, up to, like, 16 or something like that, right? So it was, like, either five or, like, eight males, eight females or something like that. But I'm just going to put a bunch of them inside of here, so there you go. Look at these guys with their crazy hats, like a lion hat. And, like, a, what is that, a spider hat? <laughs> that is, like, a spider hat. Look at that thing. It's... <laughs> Awesome. Well, uh, let's grab this thing and actually, uh, I guess, move it into the ground ever so slightly. So there you go. Nice. All right. So now they have hard shelter over here. Very ample amount of hard shelter. That should be fine, right? Yep. Yep. There we go. Terrain hard shelter. Great for these guys. So that's awesome. Let's check them on their enrichment now. So zero. But food enrichment. They only need eight. So we could do that, I'm sure. So let's go over to uh, enrichment items, food enrichment. And yeah, we could do a dog bowl. We could place that down like right here, I suppose. And we could do a bamboo feeder in that wall. Hopefully take care of their, there we go, that takes care of all their, uh, food enrichment, so toy enrichment now. Big old soccer ball, we'll put that down right there. Chew toy, that'll make sense for these guys, definitely. Sprinkler, I guess we can place that over here in the, uh, in the area where it's not cool, you know, and where it's, like, hot, and I guess it'll cool those guys down, right? <laughs> Cardboard box, uh, actually they're fine right now, so we don't need to add anything else, so that's good. But definitely want to add food and water. Big, important stuff here, you guys. Don't want to forget about this. I'll place it down, like, right over here by the, uh, habitat, uh, gateway. That way it's super duper easy. Uh, maybe I'll even put in a smaller one all the way over here. Maybe another large. Just, just because why not. So here we go. Place it all the way over there. And a, uh, water pipe. Right next to each food thing. Just so these guys can always have something to drink. When they're, uh, feasting on some flesh. Ah! I'm very happy to see that you've hit the monthly profit targets. Trust me, we're gonna need every dollar we've got to fulfill all my plans for this zoo, possibly more. So, you might want to have a rummage down the back of any couches we own. <laughs> all right, gotta get every last penny here, huh? But of course, we can see these Arctic wolves playing with the other uh, chew toy right there, so that's really cool. And a bunch of poop over there too, but uh, I do want to check staff things, work zones. Are there work zones here? And if so, there are. So let's see. Edit work zone. Where would what 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 would make sense for this? Probably Africa. Oh, this is cool. They have like each thing. It's called Africa. House of Giants. Ooh, yeah, that's that's the uh hippopotamus and uh the elephants, right? Reptile house. All the way over there. Yeah, definitely don't want to do that one. Central Plaza. Okay, so Africa, it probably warrants its own uh work zone, honestly, so. If I do that, of course, I'm going to be using the staff things right there. So, yeah, let's definitely make our own work zone. So, work zone 5, and uh, I guess Arctic. There you go. Just call it Arctic zone. There you go. Arctic zone. There you go. And, uh, do that, and I'm going to be borrowing. Because you can't have staff uh, rooms be a part of multiple uh, things. So, I guess I'll, there you go, add those as part of that. So, there you go. And then, of course, if we have another habitat over here, we'll add that to the same work zone as well. So, that's going to be great, you guys. Nice. I know, what else was, was I doing? So we have food, water, we have shelter. Oh, they're over here chilling out. Nice, getting away from the hot sun. <laughs> Let's check, uh, oh yeah, and then uh, enrichment, we have that as well. We have everything. These guys are great, they're fine. We don't have to worry about them at all. That's great. Now, all, all I really need to do, quote unquote, is uh, add education boards, even though I don't have any objectives to get education rating. Right? Yeah, don't, there's no... Oh, wait, no, on gold, we have to get education rating at the 3.5, which right now we're at 4. Whoa, so we don't even need to, wow. And we're at 1833 people in the park. We just need to get uh, 67 more people, or even less right now, 63. <laughs> 63 more people in the park to get that to have at least 1900. Get we're blazing right through this, you guys. Holy heck. <laughs> Anyways, oh, here's a guy right here just kind of admiring the Arctic Wolves over there from afar, at least. Uh, but for right now, let's actually... uh. You know what, I'm going to save the game again, because we got a good amount of progress done right there. You can never be too careful, right? But there you go. Yeah, I, I kind of want to design a special, what would it be called? 
Oh, whoa, what are these buildings? New World. I guess that's the theme here. Because they have, like, glass at the top and stuff like that. But, yeah, I definitely want to have a, uh, a Habitat Education Board. With, like, a custom uh, a speaker and border or frame, I think it's called. Yeah. New World. Yeah, so New World. That's a little bit, like, minimalistic. What is this? New World Wall Decoration Wooden Frame. I guess that's good for, like, I guess you can make your own. A uh, hard shelter out of that, maybe? I don't know. Because that looks like it's the same thing as this over here, but they just put a bunch of logs around the frame, maybe? I mean, I don't know. Perhaps. But this one right here, New World, uh, blah, blah, blah. I, I wonder if there is an Arctic toggle. I don't know if that's toggled or untoggled right there, but I don't think they have any Arctic frames that we could use. Because remember, there was an Arctic frame. What was it called? Arctic? What, do they? Ah, man, I don't know what it was called. We just, we basically just uh, copied and pasted it, but, uh, education board. No, I do not know where it is on this, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where it is. Uh, you guys remember last time we played Arctic Pack, they had these frames that were kind of like, I guess, like a Norwegian theme, I guess you could say. But uh, for this, I guess we could just use this, like, wood or whatever this border is right here. Uh, actually, there is one already. And I think it has a speaker attached, right? We can just steal that. Oh yeah, here's right here. Yeah, we can just steal that. And it's for the flamingos and stuff like that, so... Grab that. Four items. So a speaker, stand, feet, the border, and the TV itself. I think so, yes. So let's, uh, duplicate that. There you go, duplicate that. Put that over here. And, uh, oh, 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 all the way over here, nice. And, uh, make sure that is set to Arctic Wolf. There you go. So, that, yeah, I don't have to do that myself now, so that's good. Let's get rid of that. And, uh, it's like that. Oh, whoops. Set that to none. That way we can customize that a little bit later. Same with the speaker. Set that to none. There we go. And, uh, let's actually save this as a blueprint. So, there we go. Save that as a blueprint. Maybe I'll get a good, uh, picture of it like this. That way, whenever I save it as a blueprint, I can actually get a good look at it for the, uh, little, little screenshot that it takes like this. And it's nighttime. It was, uh, yeah, see, that's a pretty good, uh, little screenshot right there. That's good. Uh, but name the blueprint. So, that's new... World Education Board 1. And then uh, we could do the same thing with the other one with like the minimalistic look and one that's kind of white. Uh, we could do that one as well. And I uh, have the speaker in the same spot, I guess, huh? Uh, do I have to have a description? I don't know. And then for this, I guess we'll do other, just like I did the other time. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just make it to Education Board with speaker and order for New World theme. There you go. Create blueprint, and we're good to go now. Nice. So, if I wanted to place those down again, we'd have to go to facilities, and where would that be? I guess just view and divide. Oh, yeah, here it is right here, and I can just place it down immediately. So, that's great, you guys. A lot nice. I like that. Uh, let's place it down here next to the. Actually, let's place it like right here in the, in the middle. Seems like this might be good. Then, of course, set this to Arctic Wolf. Set the speaker to Arctic Wolf. And uh, for this one, I guess I'll just duplicate that one since it's already set to Arctic Wolf, right? Uh, might even set the speaker. It'll be a little bit louder. So it's at five right now, just to make sure it doesn't overlap immediately. Maybe I'll set it at, like ten. Mm, that seems fine. Yeah, ten seems fine. All right, great. So let's actually start copy and pasting that. And remember, we do have a. Oh, heavens! The zoo's absolutely bursting with guests. It's wonderful. The more people who see these amazing animals, the more who care for their well-being in the decades to come. That's great, yeah, see, we were, oh yeah, and see, I was, I was saying just a moment ago, we we're going to worry about the whole power situation, because over here there's no power, but yeah, uh, we were really close to hitting the 1900 guests or whatever right there, and we finally hit it, so that's great, so add this, one. oh yeah, and then over here we're going to worry about this one potentially overlapping with the other habitat we're going to have on the other side, but we'll worry about that when the time comes, but for right now, let's place that down right there, there we go, nice. And let's continue copy and pasting this without selecting the, uh, <laughs> uh, man, it's going to be, there we go, okay. <laughs> Duplicate that, place another one right here. There we go, nice. And like I said earlier, I guess, I guess if we could place down, like, maybe, I don't know, like, solar panels or something like that, because remember, Bernie did say he wants to eventually have everything over here being, like, like, using renewable energy. So I, I wonder if that's actually an objective. I haven't read through all the objectives just yet, but you guys might have. But we might actually have an objective to potentially be using exclusively renewable energy, perhaps, like wind and, uh, solar. So that'd be really cool. Uh, but for right now, let's actually set this down on, like, 12. Make sure it doesn't overlap. Oh, uh, it overlaps a little bit over there on the right side, but we might be able to scoot that over to the left a little tadpole bit. Make sure that doesn't... Uh, 
overlaps ever so slightly, but it overlaps inside the enclosure, so I don't think it really matters too much. <laughs> but now we have all that. Oh, yeah, we have we have space right here for another one, so uh, I guess we could actually grab that one right there, duplicate it, and put it here in the middle. There we go. Oh man, yeah, hold on. Yeah, we're going to set the uh, intensity down a little bit on this one, <laughs> unfortunately. So uh, let's set this down to like, oh, that's actually perfect, like nines, that's good. All right, nice. So yeah, I guess if we place like solar panels or something like that over here, we'll worry about that when the time comes. We have money, we're, money's going up, which is great. Of course, that was one of the objectives to get like $7,000 of profit. And uh, the second year we got that, it looks like, so that's great. Uh, for bronze, all we need to do now is get one more desert creature, which was that one I forgot the name of it, but I know it if I come across it. Uh, we'll get that creature. I don't know where we'll put it. Maybe in the same enclosure as the elephant, because, you know, that's another desert creature. <laughs> and then another uh, tropical creature, and that should be pretty easy to figure out. So we'll worry about that when the time comes. The Aardvark is stressed again. Really? He seems fine on his hard shelter and stuff. But is this one way? It's not. Let's make this one way, you guys, because it's one way over here. You guys see that sunglasses effect? You can see from this side, no problem, but over here it looks like sunglasses. Let's make this over here. Let's make this, if I can, edit barrier, here we go. And what is this invisible right here? Where is that on here? Is that this? Or, uh, no? Where a barrier isn't needed. Ooh, yeah, here we go, for a river or animals that can't swim. So that's what they used right there. They used the null, like, habitat gate right there. That's, that's cool. I definitely want to remember to use that here in the future, guys. But yeah, let's replace these with the one way. That's regular. Wait, do we not have one way yet? We have one way right there. How do we have that there? But we don't. Hold on, let me look at the mechanic research. They're not researching anything right now. But let's go to barriers. Yeah, we don't have one way glass yet. What in the world? How do we have one right there? That's very weird. <laughs> that's what usually they give you access to that. Uh, New world theme is completely uh, unlocked right there, so that's cool. Africa theme, maybe we'll uh, unlock that as well, that'd be really cool. And then of course Arctic theme, might might get someone to start researching that and we could actually put some Arctic theme stuff. That's probably where we get the border for the education boards. So yeah, definitely want to have someone researching that, so that's going to be great. And uh, it's like a used gulpy box right there that he's just, he's just playing around with. But yeah, here in the future, hopefully uh, he's going to be less stressed. Like look at all the people over here, almost 2,000 people in the park. And uh, pretty good multiple dozens of people over here uh, just looking at the aardvark. And, oh god, it crossed. See, that's why I uh, save so often, you guys. And we're back. Yeah, that's why I, why I save so often. I guess I went like six, seven minutes without saving right there. Hopefully the game auto-saved within that time. Whatever I can actually change how often it auto-saves. I might want to check real quick if that's possible. Uh, oh, avatar zoo visitors? Control the appearance of other avatars as guests. Friends only disabled. Oh, I, I don't know why I want to change that. Sh slow animal aging. Alter the rate at which your animals... No, I'm not. I'm going to change that. I, I, I'm going to keep it as normal. I don't think I want to do that. Global vertical snapping. Building is riser limited to one meter vertical heights. Make it easier to line build. Let's turn that on. That might be pretty good. Scenery collision. No, that way we could have scenery go through each other. Track collision. I think we're fine here, you guys. I, I, I didn't even know these settings existed, but yeah, let's apply. And interface and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a auto save thing I could change here if there is I'm not seeing it interface game yeah I don't know but yeah uh, hopefully our most recent save if there hopefully there's an auto save but our most recent save was from like I don't know seven eight minutes ago so we lost any progress it was probably just me making the, uh, the, the new world border education board thing which we're probably going to replace here in the future anyways uh, yeah look at this we were, we're just about to place those down and we have 1800 guests uh, again so yeah I'm going to redo that unfortunately but yeah I guess I have to, and we have like fourteen thousand dollars less in the bank. <laughs> but yeah, we're, I guess I we'll have to place down those education boards again, and that's basically it. And I, I, I guess real quick before I forget, get oh we don't have any vet research going on either. Hmm, maybe I'll get, I guess Arctic Wolf. I'm like we have so many vets. Arctic Wolf. Who do we have? That's low. Warthog. Let's get Warthog. That way we can get some enrichment items for them as well, and uh, maybe some exhibit animal. Everyone has two. Oh, Iguana has three. Goliath Frog. These, uh, Lehman Poison Frog only has two. Maybe I'll get someone to research that. And the Snail only has two as well. And I have three vets completely free to do whatever, you know, heal critters if anything happens. And then, of course, Arctic Theme. So there you go. Two mechanics open and, uh, not research anything right there. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we're going to be good here in the future to get that one-way glass for the Aardvark as well as to get, maybe get some Arctic, like, border 
for the uh, education boards to kind of match the thing over here. And then maybe if we have like a new habitat for the Arctic theme, we'll actually replace this one with the Arctic habitat or uh, hard shelter. So that'd be really cool. Uh, this thing is actually, hold on, it's actually kind of, I can physically see holes in the gate right there. 74% barrier status, let me set the mechanic to every six months. Vet to every six months, and keep her every month, that seems fine. And uh, make sure he repairs it and stuff like that, you guys, so that's good. But yeah, let me pause the recording real quick, place down all the uh, education boards and stuff like that, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back, and I placed down all the benches, the trash cans, the lights, all that kind of stuff. I haven't placed down another thing of electricity, or uh, power, or whatever yet. Uh, I kind of want- Oh, do we have babies? I didn't even notice! We've got tiny little pups are playing with the sprinklers, oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention, I was too busy placing things down! But we've got little baby cub- or not cubs, pups! <laughs> oh, it just said like five seconds ago. Oh yeah, what color are these guys' eyes? I don't know if they're- Oh god, look at him, he's shaking off the, the sprinkler water. We read a while ago, I guess we go to Zoopedia, there it is right there, it was one of the facts about the eyes. Oh, here it is right here, all arctic wolf pups are born with blue eyes which turn orange or yellow between four to eight weeks old. I think that might be a little bit too old for us to notice. Yeah, 0.5 years old, yeah, that's, that's, ha that's six months. Yeah, another six months right there, so yeah. A little bit too late for us to notice any like eye color changing memes right there, unfortunately. Man. So we'll have to wait for a little while later, but yeah, it, we, we have sufficient room over here for these guys, I'm sure. Like, uh, the population literally just doubled, but the adult population hasn't just yet, so I don't know if the terrain constraints or whatever here. Yeah, see, we, they need 1,300, they have 1,900 square meters right here. They have plenty of room to grow with even more critters, so. Speaking of the terrain, though, I was kind of thinking while I was placing down the, uh, the all the stuff over here, this terrain over here is kind of boring, it's flat. We, of course, we don't have any trees or anything like that just yet. Of course, I wanted to do that here in just a moment. But I was thinking about, like, messing around with the terrain. Maybe even add, like, some sort of hill or a mountain here or something crazy, you guys. You guys want to do that? Maybe we could, like, mess with this, like, sphere thing right here to add a... To, to kind of have a, a starting point, I guess you could say. So, uh, I guess we could set the width to, like, 10 meters. And maybe I'll set the height to, like, 12. Maybe I'll set it to... I'll just set it to like four and make it not too tall, I suppose. Uh, then I guess the width make it pretty big here to have a nice starting point. That, uh, that still seems rather tall. Yeah, why is it so tall? So I made this like 20. Wait, hold on. Can I? Oh, okay. Yeah, I could also change the uh, that as well. But now it looks like there's like a random, <laughs> like a sphere in the middle right there. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, I, I at least get a kind of a starting point. So yeah, let's just move that back down. Maybe I'll put like a, I guess like a small little hill, like right there. And then a, another one that goes up a little bit more vertically over here. And then maybe a, a smaller one, like a little bump like right here. And then I'll use like the smoothing tool or something like that, or like the roughing tool to kind of make it look uh, a little bit more natural, I guess you could say, right? Uh, maybe I'll make the width of this one just a little bit bigger. And make it shorter as well, like maybe like that. There we go, yeah. I guess we might have to wait for snow to, to fall on top of that or something? I don't know. Or maybe have to re-terrain that to be snow. I might have to re-terrain it. I don't know. A little bit of a rhyme right there. Not bad. Uh, okay, yeah, I did have to re-terrain this. Or repaint this or whatever to be snow. So there it is right there. There we go. Noise. And, uh, yeah, I guess all we... Oh, no, I guess it is kind of like fading right there. But, yeah, I guess all we have to do now is just kind of, I guess, roughen and then smooth. But, yeah, this, this, this does give us a little bit of a starting point right here. With the terrain, of course, it's kind of hard to see with the, uh, the white snow covering it, but, uh, if we go to, uh, sculpting, there it is right there. I guess we can go to roughen intensity, maybe I'll set that down to, like, maybe, let's start at, like, 50% size, let's go to, like, maybe 10? Let's see, ooh. Yeah, maybe the intensity, maybe I'll set that down to, like, 10% or something like that. Uh, oh, I don't know what I just did right there. <laughs> Let me set that to, and then maybe I'll set the size to, like, 20. So, yeah, here we go. Kind of roughing it up a little bit to kind of get a little bit of variation in terrain, and then of course we're roughing it right now, and then of course here in a moment I'll smooth it out a little bit as well. But, you know, just to make it look a little bit more natural, especially that big bump right there. I definitely want to smooth that out and make it look a little bit more realistic <laughs> and not like so artificial. But uh, the other hills over here, yeah, they're they're starting to look a little bit more organic, which is good. Uh, here we go, smooth tool. Definitely want to set the intensity up on this one, though, just because this hill is just so heckin' huge. So, uh, yeah, we'll smooth these out a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit. And then, of course, I'll have to re-terrain these again, it seems, but, uh, eh, 
You know what? I kind of want to put another hill here, like a big one in the middle. Like a really tall one, you know? So maybe I'll get a, another terrain stamp. And, uh, can I do like a... Oh, here we go. Yeah, a cylinder. And then I guess... I guess maybe like right here. There we go. And then maybe we could put a sphere on top of that one. Just a small little hill like this. There we go. That's a very, very strange looking thing, at least for right now. But let's get the smooth tool to try and... You know, make it look a little bit more natural. Maybe uh, set the intensity up a little bit better. There you go. Then, of course... Oh, animals will fight for... Oh, can't, common warthog. We have to watch out for them, you guys. We'll have to watch out for them here in just a moment. But let's start smoothing this out a little bit. Make it look a little bit more natural. And then let's use the roughing a little bit. Got to get more variation. Uh, I, I, they're probably complaining right now of... You know... Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, the intensity. That was way up. Yeah, 80% right there. Maybe I'll say it was like 30. Here we go. Especially here at the top. It's very, very weird. And, uh, kind of... There we go. Get a little bit of variation in the terrain here. I guess what it does is, like, it pulls up some of the terrain and shoves down some other terrain, and that's kind of how you get it rough in there, you know? So... How does that look? You guys like that? It looks... Not as artificial as before. It looks a little bit more natural. Of course, it is really, really smooth. I guess it got eroded down from the, uh... The, the rainfall, snowfall over the who knows how many millions of years. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, you know what? A little bit of rough areas, a little bit of smooth areas there, I like it. You know what? Yeah, this is a good idea. What if we just have snow at the top of this? And then we have, like, regular, like, tall grass at the bottom or something like that. Huh. You know what? I like that idea. Yeah, let, let's, let's go to the terrain painting now. Let's turn all this into grass. Hold on, let's, let's click on a wolf right now, though. That no way we can cut. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Before we do that, let's go check up on the common common warthogs. Oh yeah, real quick though, I did see that there is a way for me to pull up the uh, the save menu right there. So there you go. Save that over uh, March 25th, and uh, there you go. Really easy way for me to save without having to manually open up in the menu and all that kind of jazz. So not not quite as easy as like literally a one button quick save. It's a one button then click and then quick save. But still, eh, it's pretty decent. Nine uh, common warthogs here though. So let's click on them. See how many that. Uh, let's check the Zoopedia. See how many they need. One male and six females, so I bet there might even be more females. Hold on, yeah, let's actually check. Also, by the way, off camera, a hippopotamus escaped, so... Uh, of course, over there, they just have null barriers, so we do need to watch out, maybe even change some of those null barriers into actual barriers. Yeah, we have four uh, males, so... Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of some of them, you guys, holy heck. Uh, oh, God, what happened? Oh, research complete. <laughs> okay, well, let's check them on them. Here in just a moment to see how they're doing, but the, the common warthog, let's actually pause real quick, that way there's not too much negative effect going on, but here's a male, here's a male, here's a male, and that's a baby, here's a male, there you go. So let's figure out which one we're going to get rid of, here's the oldest one, and these are the brand new ones, I guess we can get rid of the brand new ones, just because, yeah, let's just get rid of the brand new ones, and then maybe when the older one gets a little bit older, Oh, whoops, I just did it in reverse right there. But once the old, older one gets a little bit older, we could replace it with one of the uh, the youngins, I guess you could say. But we could probably release to wild. Let's check how that goes. I guess that'd be fine. Yeah, we'll, I'm like, we'll get some conservation credits. We'll need those. We have to get, like, polar bear or whatever that's, like, super duper expensive with the conservation credits. Oh, the inspector's here. Or a zoo reporter. Yeah, they definitely changed the name of the, uh... It used to be inspector, but now it's zoo reporter, so... That's kind of interesting. I wonder why they changed that. Kind of a small little, uh... Oh, ATM broke down. Woo! Call the mechanic over there right now. <laughs> Hold on, how do I, uh... I don't know if I could actually set this mechanic, or set this ATM to be, like, repaired at a specific rate by the mechanic. Or anything like that. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, off-camera. Speaking of off-camera, because we had vets researching so many things, I had to build another research center. I built one over here in the... What's it called? Like, the, the big something. I forgot what this was called. But, you know, the elephant and hippopotamus area over here. Uh, the work zone. I built another one over there just because we have only one research center or whatever that is uh, for the vets to research stuff. So I definitely needed to have another one because they were starting to queue outside here. Similar to what's happening right here with the mechanics. I guess I'll have to build another uh, mechanic workshop over there. Just kind of, you know what, I might just do that right now. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. It's that, that that's actually the, the pop-up thing that's right there saying, yeah, they're, they're starting to queue outside the, the work zone. So actually, let me check on Zoo. Let me check out the staff. Let me see where most of the mechanics are employed. That way we can, uh, oh god, that's a lot of vendors, sheesh. So we have one in the Reptile House, one in Africa, one in House of Giants, and one in the Work Zone. So, yeah, let's let's put one over here in Africa. Aza Slaughter, I don't even know if that's the one researching anything, but let's put one over here in Africa, or, uh, House of Giants. Yeah, because over there, I think that was Africa over there. That was, 
That was technically the Africa part of the map, so let's build the workshop. Where is it? Trade center, research center. Where is it on here? Uh, there it is right there. Plan Zoo workshop. I don't know if I have room here for it, though, but... Uh, oh, I might be able to slip it in right here. Oh, I can! Can I get rid of that, like, curve that's, like, right here? Hold on, let me see if I can get rid of that. Nah, I can't. Yeah, it's part of, it's, it's, like, locked as a part of the map, unfortunately, so... I might still be able to get away. You know what? I'll put it inside the heck and... Yeah, what's stopping me? <laughs> yeah, what's stopping me? I'll just put it, like, right there. Nothing's stopping me, hater. Hey, oh, there you go. <laughs> so let's actually put this inside of the, uh... Hold on, let's go to work zone. Was it called again? The house of giant. Yeah. And, uh, add that to this work zone. So there you go right there. Nice. All right. So hopefully someone's going to go over there and, uh, prevent the queue from happening over here now, right? Uh, whoops. I did not mean to pause right there. Who's this person? <laughs> Cornell Little John. Where's this guy working at? House of giant. Yeah, I go to the other thing. I just put a heckin', uh, research or a workshop over in the house of giants. What are you doing here? Can I ask him? I can't move him. What? Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. It said something about a path. Did I... Do the right path over here? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I'm like, it doesn't matter. But I guess I, just to make it match, I'll make this a uh, staff pass. So there you go. Uh, oh, is that the right color? This one. This one. That looked like a different color. Oh, the, oh, it's the red one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Couldn't really tell because it's in the shadow. But there you go. Yeah, now we have this, uh... Well, will it count? No, I'm like... It's, it's, it has this, like, big, like, column or something like that. And it's, like, sticking outside like it's super ugly right there, but... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, there's, they're going to the workshop or whatever, the, or rest room or whatever the... Well, I guess it is a rest room, but that sounds like a bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, they're going to the staff, uh... What is that called? I don't want to call it a rest room. Uh, oh, it's just staff room. Okay, <laughs> Yeah, they're going over there to cool off and stuff like that, but yeah, whatever that that mechanic I guess don't know about that area over there But we have another vet research complete ba boom come award again Arctic Wolf Oh, by the way, I did also raise the price of entry. It was $24. I raised it up to 26. I hired a keeper and a Caretaker to come over here to be a part of the Arctic area at least for right now So we have one keeper assigned specifically to the Arctic Wolves and one caretaker to this specific area over here to empty out all the trash bins and and uh, uh, sweep up the, the paths and all that kind of stuff, so that's going to be good, you guys. But yeah, uh, with the terrain over here, let's definitely, uh... Oh yeah, click on a wolf. Check out what the terrain is. Yeah, they, there's too much long grass inside here, so I guess... We'll add a little bit of short grass and they'll be fine with that, at least for right now. Uh, let's actually start all over, actually, if I can. What's the intensity? Oh god, yeah, it's actually kind of low, so... You now it's at the, like 90%, at least for right now. Is this all too short grass? because they don't really mind too much of that. Yeah, there you go. We have a lot of short grass right now, so maybe I'll get... Uh, oh, yeah, turning some of this into soil and, and rock and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a good idea, you guys. I like that. So let's, uh, let's turn a lot of this into rock because this, this does look like a heckin' mountain, doesn't it? So it makes sense to make it look like a mountain. Have it, like, all rocky and stuff. Maybe a few splotches of grass here and there, you know? It makes sense. Uh, smooth rock there, maybe some rough rock on the top. Or maybe did I make it all rough? I don't know. I'm just going to add a little mixture of both. Then, of course, I'm going to get rid of some of the short grass. It's like over here. Maybe I'll add some uh, more sand or something like that. Because it seems like they can use a little bit more sand. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, maybe I'll add a little bit of rock right here where it kind of fades from the sand. There we go. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, we could add some snow at the very top. So, boom. That way it's kind of snow-capped up here, you guys. Nice. I like that. And of course, that, this is where all the coolers and stuff are, so that's really cool, you guys. Nice. Uh, less short grass, a little bit less short grass, and a little bit more soil. Okay, soil. We could do soil. Yeah, add some soil over here. Yeah, just kind of paint it in here. Just kind of add a few splotches here and there, and we'll be good. Yeah, especially right here, it transitions from the, the sand to the, the rocks and the grass and stuff. Adding some soil there definitely makes some sense, you guys. Nice. Uh, let's add a little bit of heavy soil, just have a little bit of variation there. Nice. And, uh, maybe I'll add a little bit more snow. Just because this doesn't look like too much. And I definitely do want to kind of... That way it doesn't look like I'm just painting a white circle on top. Maybe I'll have like, streaks of snow coming down to make it look like maybe the snow melted and, and then and then refroze and stuff like that, maybe. Yeah, there you go. That yeah, doesn't look too bad. It probably could look a little... Maybe I'll, oh, maybe I'll add a little bit of low-intensity snow towards here at the bottom. Yeah, here we go to kind of feather it out a little bit. There you go, nice. Still a lot of random snow over there and probably need to get rid of. Uh, oh yeah, I don't think it's actually legit snow because it's, uh, yeah, it's only showing because I had the snow tool enabled right there, but there we go. So we have like a, I don't really like this bit right here. Can I cover that up with some snow? 
Is that a little bit too steep for snow? Yeah, it's a little bit too steep right there for snow, so... If I wanted to mess with the terrain right there, unfortunately, I'd have to, uh... It, it, it turn it back into, like, like, long grass or whatever right there, so that sucks, but... Oh, I guess... The land area technically went down because I, I messed with the terrain there, huh? So that's kind of weird. Uh, although it makes sense, so... Uh, not, not really too big of a deal, though, because we still have uh, plenty of room for all these guys. But yeah, look at this. Here from the sand, turning into the, the, the like, the cold mountaintop, hilltop, or whatever you call it right there. I'd say it has a little bit more character than the, uh, what we had just a moment ago. Hold on, I do want to check, though. Just kind of add a little bit of a uh, variation. Can I add, ah, uh, yeah, I can't add a little bit more. I can't have any grass in general. We have, we have the limit of grass, but I do want to add maybe... A few trees here and there, just because it is really plain. And uh, they don't really care about the plant coverage. They're fine with zero. We're, they're fine with any amount. So we go to Taiga Tundra to find uh, some trees and other plants for these guys. So let's go to Tundra and Taiga. There you go. And uh, North America as well. So continent North America. There it is right there. And uh, let's try. Oh, yeah, and then rocks and stuff. That makes sense. Yeah, but eh, a little bit too late for that now. But yeah, let's definitely add some like trees and stuff like that over here, you guys. Black spruce. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I'll add that right there. A big one at the top of the mountain? Or maybe I'll add it at the, at the, at the bottom to make the mountain kind of like be as like a, a scale next to the mountain. Yeah, look at this. It's already looking better already. Look at this. And like a medium size or, or a small size right there. Here's a medium. Here's a, a large one. Yeah. Bearberry bushes. Yeah, maybe add uh, random bushes here and there. Just kind of scatter them throughout the, uh, the mountain. Uh, maybe like right here at the bottom. There you go. Let's see. Bearberry bush. Oh, yeah. Here's a big one right there. Nice. Uh, maybe have like, because there is a tree line with mountains where trees just don't grow anymore, so maybe I don't want to have any bushes any higher than that, honestly. Maybe I'll get rid of that one right there. Maybe I'll just move that one. Maybe I'll just put it like a, actually, yeah. Oh, whoa, the game almost crashed right there, which means, you know what? Save time. Look at how easy this is, you guys. And, ba-boom. All right, nice. And, uh, some of the bushes are kind of in the ground right there, but there you go. And then, I guess we could add some smaller shrubberies over here. Maybe like, I don't know. Oh yeah, here's a cool little tree. I like that, yeah. Maybe I had another variation of that lady fern. Oh yeah, these ferns, I like this. Having some of these, late, uh, another lady fern right here. So we have four, three, two. Yeah, I have just like small scatterings of these here and there. And then uh, there's one. But over here, I definitely don't want to have any, any trees. So maybe I'll move this one just because it's literally a desert. But maybe when it gets closer inland, it makes sense to have more trees, you know, so... Maybe, uh... Yeah, put this tree, like, over... I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I'll put it right here, just because there's a lot of room. I'll move this one, this small tree, over here, just because there's not too much room. And then I'll move this medium one right here. There we go. And then, uh, we have this small tree. Maybe I'll put that, like, right here. That way we can probably get a little bit of snow on top of it. Yeah, from the coolers and stuff, you know? So there you go. And let's see, what else can we do here? Caribou moss. Uh, yeah, I guess we can start adding some of that. Especially down at the bottom of the trees. I do like adding bushes at the bottom of the trees. Kind of make it kind of blend in a little bit there, you know? So maybe I'll add those at the bottom of these trees right here. I'm, I'm doing some Bob Ross memes right now, you guys. It really feels like I'm Bob Ross. And uh, let's see. Alpine. Uh, you know what? We could add some of these plants over here. Sure, why not? Just kind of add a little bit of color, especially over here. You know what? I hide it like right here. I hide it right here. Just kind of get a little bit of separation between the people and the wolves. We have some flowers right there, you know? There we go. Maybe add some on this side if I can. Uh, maybe I'll start from here and then I'll work inward. There. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, I'm editing the shelter right now. Yeah, I don't want to actually add it to the shelter. Uh, I don't know if I add it right there without it. Yeah, I'm still trying to add to the shelter, so... Yeah, forget about that, I guess. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Oh, I guess, like, if anything, I just do this, too. There we go. That's one way to cheat. And then, uh... There's another one right here. There we go. <laughs> so there we go. We, got, we have a little bit of... A little bit of trees. And, and I don't have any rocks. Moss rocks and stuff like that. I don't know if that really makes sense over here, but... Crowberry bushes. Douglas fir. Ooh! Yeah, I definitely want to have at least a different type of tree, too. i uh, add this one, like, right here. Maybe like right here. Yeah, there we go. Any other types of tree? Festive spruce? Yeah, I don't really want that to be here. Kind of seems out of place. Oh, here's a small, you know what? A small Christmas tree right there. You know, there you go. <laughs> That's cool. That's fun. Uh, what else do we have here that we get? Lady fern and then uh, yellow cedar. Ooh. 
I'll replace like this one over here with lady or uh, yellow cedar. Hmm, I don't know. At least it's a little bit more varied than it was earlier, where it was literally just flat and nothing but snow. I don't know, it's just it's not really growing on me too much, but... You know what, maybe I have more snow over here. Maybe I had more splotches of snow, that way... Mm, yeah, maybe from like here on to the left, it'll be nothing but snow. But over here, it'll be mountaintops of snow, and then a little bit of grass on each side, and then of course the desert sand there. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Let's do that, let's get the snow. Tool, set the intensity to like 90%. Let's uh, paint along the lines here to make sure we have it contained within the actual enclosure itself. Then maybe from uh, right here, I'll stop the intensity, a full intensity that is. And then I'll start making the intensity a little bit lower. That way it kind of fits in a little bit better. Yeah, maybe I'll, like right here, I'll set the intensity to like 30%. Start like feathering it out a little bit, you know? I mean, it'd be a little bit more natural than maybe like a 10% right here. There's small little splotches of snow, like small traces of snow right there. Yeah. And then let's get rid of that. That looks a lot better. I like that a lot better. I like how it transitions from the sand, because we're in Mexico, remember that? And it transitions from the sand into the Arctic area over here. And then, of course, it goes <laughs> just a hard, hard line from Arctic area back to sand over there, so... I'm like, I guess if anything, we could have, I guess maybe made the middle Arctic and then everything else is sand, but I like how it kind of transitions like a gradient from right to left, from desert to Arctic over there. I like that. Not bad. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm uh, the first time actually exploring with the terrain tool, you know, past just putting a hole in the ground, putting water in there and calling it a day. And I guess speaking of such, maybe we could add some water over here. Like some calm water in these small little, like where it dips down a little bit, if I can. Calm water, here we go. Yeah, like a small little, like, pond. Oh, wait. Yeah, look at that little bit of water right there. Ah, that's obstructed, though. Ah, I mean, you know what? I'll, maybe I'll get rid of that. There we go, got rid of that. Maybe I'll even, uh, a small little bit of water right there. Small little bit of water right there. Can I add any water anywhere else? I got it. Oh, I got a small little pond right there, but of course. Yeah, now that's not snow anymore, so I guess I have to paint that to be snow again, so. There we go. Is it? I guess it's just stone right there, so that kind of looks weird right there, honestly. Hmm. You know, I guess we'll keep it. Actually, you know what, if we have that as... What if I do auto-paint? What does that do? I don't know what that does. Hmm. Anyways, uh, what would make sense there? Grass soil, I guess? Well, the soil looks so similar to the rock that it already has there, you know? Hmm. I don't know. I guess that kind of makes sense there. I guess some of the snow starts melting and it kind of pulls up there. Same thing over here. Maybe I'll even, uh... Make some of the terrain... Push some of this terrain down. I can. I might have to get rid of the water. But yeah, it, Okay, hold on. How do I get rid of... Oh, yep, there you go. Got rid of that. There you go. Get rid of some of the water. Push this down a little bit more. There you go. Then we'll have, like, a small little... I don't even know if you... I don't want to call it a river, but, you know. Just kind of... I, I don't like how... It, oh, oh yeah, that's what it is. Auto-paint. I should have done, like, you selected or whatever. Sampled. I guess sampled takes what's nearby and... Automatically paints that back down, but... Yeah, here we go. Start maybe pushing that down a little bit right there, but... Let's add a little bit of water, calm water if we can. Ah, it's still... I still need to push that down a little bit more. Now we've got a little bit of, uh, calm water right there. Nice. So there you go. A little bit of, a little bit of water right there for them to just kind of hang out at. And maybe I had a little bit more snow over here just because some of the snow went away just there a moment ago. So there you go. Let's set the intensity back down like 10. Continue painting it over here. Yeah, where it slowly fades. Yeah. That kind of hard fades right there. Maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll fix that real quick. Hold on. There you go. It looks a little bit natural right there. Not too bad, I suppose. But uh, maybe I'll fix this right here too. I don't really seem too there you go. Makes it makes it look a little bit more lighter snow and not too heavy right there. There you go. Alright, let's go check up on the wool zone. Let me see what they think of the area. Of course they're fine with all plant coverage. Yeah, uh, plants none of the plants here they have a problem with, so that's good. Uh there are no problem with all the terrain distribution right there. That's great. Some of the land area went down right there. Of course we added some water so it went down a little bit. 